The ideology, Rita, the idiocy and the incompetence of Labor never ceases to amaze me. Uh, they've, they've mucked up the detainee visas again, so 149 people. Uh, they got that all wrong. Rita? Well, yes, it's nothing to worry about. We're only talking about murderers, rapists, uh, child uh, abusers. I mean, it's the worst of the worst, and it's becoming abundantly clear if you, if you go through this, is that they either were so inept that they botched the case or they just deliberately wanted that because they really gave the High Court no option when they go in there and say, oh, well, there is no plan, that there is no chance of this uh, particular criminal uh, getting out of uh, detention. So it, it put the High Court in a very... Uh, oh, they, did, they really did not have too many options. So at that point, you would think they would at least come up with a plan B. No, they had to get... Uh, bullied into that by Peter Dutton mm -hmm. in there. And, and now they have that emergency legislation in place, but they're not using it. They're so because they're incompetent. Let's have a look at Labor blaming everyone other than themselves, the classic Labor ploy. Have a look. This issue was a technical issue. A technical legal issue in an Australian law that had been passed by the Parliament in 2013. This is a technical issue that goes back to 2013. This is an issue that had been on the books for more than a decade, since 2013, throughout, indeed, the former government's time. This is a technical issue. No, te 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 We've got a technical issue, issue guys. Te We've issue. got a technical issue. Technical yeah, issue. Not our fault, nothing to do with us. At least we got some common sense from Peter Dutton. Have a listen. It's, it didn't occur under a coalition government. This happened under a Labor government. Let's be very clear about it. The red herring that they've thrown out there uh, is not factually correct. Uh, and Minister Giles and others shouldn't be in their jobs. Uh, how the Prime Minister can keep Minister Giles in his job when he's released 149 hardcore criminals into the community on the wrong visas is beyond the average Australian's comprehension. I mean, number one, we know that being tough on borders is not Labor's DNA. But the other <laughs> thing, too, remember this about Adam Giles. When the Australian government mm. solicitor was coming in to meet with his office to give advice about this NZYQ case that has set off this disaster, he was off campaigning for the, the voice, voice. And which tells you where their, <laughs> their priorities, priorities are. are. And he has spoken about the reason he entered politics was because of the advocacy the of, of, of the, the Tampa, Tampa incident. So yeah. that's his ideology. It's no secret where he stands and it should come as no surprise that this area is a mess. Both those ministers are not fit for those ministries. They're important oh, ministries and... If but Albanese then again, who in that Labor coalition is, in my opinion, incompetence <laughs> the lot of them.